Hello Summoners, welcome back to the channel and in this video we're going to talk about Ghost a little bit more and I've already made a lot of videos on her uh, starting with her guide where I explain her basic abilities and how you can you know, start the process of becoming a really good Ghost player. It does take a lot of time, she is one of the hardest characters to master in this game but uh, she is also one of the best characters in the game so uh, believe me it is definitely worth the effort uh, so uh, you start off with this like if you are trying to learn then i would suggest you start off with that video then i uploaded a guide on how to use her without the wasp synergy which is really important because you can't fit wasp everywhere and uh, honestly like in act 6 and stuff i just use her without actually like i almost never use the wasp synergy anymore but this synergy is different. Hood synergy, I think, is one of the most like one of the pow most powerful synergy in the entire game. You can tank SP3s. You can tank uh, recoil damage, which uh, like suicide masteries is a great addition with ghosts in general. So as you can see here, we are fa phasing, and especially against aggressive AI, this is incredibly reliable. And as a matter of fact, like in Act 6, whenever I'm dealing with power gain and stuff, uh, I usually don't bring power control characters. Just go in with Ghost with the Hood Synergy and uh, just keep tanking those SP3s. You take zero damage, even if this puts a debuff on you, that will like she will just convert that into a fury. So you don't like generally characters who tank SP3s, like uh, let's say Gwenpool. They are pretty good, but again, uh, like if you're talking about Gwenpool, she doesn't die from them, uh, she does take damage. So uh, maybe after that, when you're fighting with her in Act 6, the block damage might kill you. But even if that doesn't do it, uh, if the opponent's SP3 has some kind of uh, uh, like damage over time associated with it, then um, you are going to be in trouble. And like if it is debuff, then Ghost can handle it, but then uh, we have characters like mojo where if you take his sp3 then the degeneration damage you can't convert that into a fury but if you are running hood synergy which again if you are tanking sp3s then you are running it uh, then you can dash back and phase some part of it uh, which can also help uh, but now coming to the timing here basically you dash back as soon as you can and it does take a bit of practice like it's uh, even now after playing goes for more than a year uh, there are of course like a lot of times where I miss that and sometimes you know 5% recoil damage is not that important and uh, you need to focus on some other stuff uh, like um, managing with some nodes and interactions and stuff like that but usually like I, th I think i can get it nine out of ten times uh and uh, yeah once you get used to it it is incredibly powerful as i said suicide masteries is a great addition with ghost in general because uh, you get all the benefits uh, she can just uh, like if you have awaken as soon as the five stars you're going to shrug off the bleed and poison convert them into fury and uh, then the recoil like if you ask anyone who runs suicide masteries uh, the biggest problem with them is uh, like you can get by like even if your character isn't immune and they can deal with the recoil damage i, I prefer that to a double, double immune character who like uh, perfect example would be og vision i've been playing around with him a lot recently and he sucks with suicide mastery because the main thing is his power control that comes out of his special one and special two for the most part at least and uh, yeah he is double immune but he sucks with suicide mastery as well a character like magic uh, she isn't immune but because she can deal with the uh, uh, recoil damage with a limbo uh, and recover all of that it is like really good like running suicides is a pretty decent option with magic and a lot of people do it for lance wars as well um, but coming to my point here, uh, here you don't take the damage from bleed, you don't take the damage from poison, you don't take the damage from recoil. So it's she is just built for suicide masteries, and I can definitely see why you would want to sacrifice a spot in your team to bring in hood just for the synergy. But even then, like hood uh, in general, if you have him as a five star or a six star, you rank him up. He is a pretty decent character on his own. 
uh, who can get done uh, like who can get a lot of stuff done and one thing that i didn't mention earlier by the way was that you don't want to use sp1 unless it is to finish off the fight like that because after sp1 you get three uh, of those like this yellow charge i'm not even sure what it's called basically the guaranteed crit thing and our, uh, like at while you have that on you can't face back so uh, if you want to tank sp3 you use your sp1 before that then you're screwed and same thing goes for phasing recoil damage so uh, if you are using if you want to take advantage of the hood synergy then uh, i would definitely recommend to not use special one unless again it is to finish off the fight now just to show you that it can be done with other characters i did it with old man logan and that's gonna do it for this one thanks for watching and i stay subscribe to the channel for more content and stay safe bye bye